retakes. So we need to make okay. sure that they are all staying alive into those retake situations. But Navi, especially in the mid round, exploring the map individually. If they're able to win some of those duels right and break the team heretics retake, but instantly we might be seeing a little bit of action. Maybe. A little bit Maybe. of a trap. I don't think Dizzy actually did what they wanted there. Mini Boo still going to get away with this corner that he sat towards for now. Going to be trying to be played in off the back as well. I think this, yeah, they're still going to be trying to clear this. Mini Boo did have a chance at a shot, and he does. Oh, oh my god, wow. he's got two. One was more than enough, it felt like, but he finds two out of that. And now just to get to Artis and Shao to try and get back towards the site again. The spike hasn't been fully committed, so there is a little bit of leeway in that regard, but still, this is a brutal start. Still almost a minute on the clock, so anything can happen. I think in these types of situations, Navi should just look to group as fast as they can. Getting spotted at A, that's not the biggest deal. They can still do a fake, end up in B, but making sure that they group up because the attackers, if they pick a site randomly, they'll have the numbers. Yeah, you're absolutely right. 30 seconds now, the clock is ticking down, so they will have to make their minds up pretty left. soon. The last noted piece of contact off the back of the Prowler at A, but as we've noted, they are starting to slip the net a little. There is utility holding them back from this B site, however. And keep eyes on what Boo does in this as well. One closest by door. Smoke towards main. See if you can isolate one, not to be the case. So we get to on guard duty, but they've got the spike down. Spike's planted. This is big. And this is where Team Heretics shine. Moving together. Omen with a late flank through middle. This is huge. Cover going First out. contact from heaven. Yeah, they've got lots of utility left as well. Rien still has a fair bit of kit. So does Voot. So already to be Boo so close smart. to the gap. This timing is perfect. Oh, the shot. Almost a little messy. But yeah, this is really clean work in the end from Heretics. A perfect start for them. Yeah, lost out on Mini Boo, but he got his and then some. I really like the trap setup that they laid at the start of the round, getting the aggressive position towards like that new cubby position out yeah, at yeah. a lobby, and then waiting with the breach done ready and and you know fade raise breach all ready to fight together, getting those you know two for ones there. Big start from Mini Boo, getting those two kills. It looked like he was done for. I, I don't know how he got away with that. I thought they'd kind of cleared that. I thought they were going through the process of it, but still managing to find both players was just. You know, outstanding. I think he got shot in the head through the box, even. I felt, it felt he was like stunned, it. Yeah. yeah, by the time he even swung, he was down to half yeah. HP. So we're looking yeah. at what the buy is going to come back in with Na'Vi. I'm seeing an outlaw, a sheriff, and then just classic. So a little bit of threat to it, considering the amount of light armor. And keep in mind the... Why, is it Mini Boo? Yeah, he's the one with the vandal here. So, Okay, so you don't want to be losing that. Again, the prize possessions here. Vandal and the Bulldog. So Benji Fishy and Mini Boo will want to be a little careful with how they play on this approach. Keep that in mind. This is something that we've come to expect from Navi as well. They are purchasing that outlaw after they lose pistol. And it's one of those things that teams have to look out for. If you're investing into that second round, do you go light shields against Navi knowing that they'll pull out that outlaw? So that's a really big thing to kind of gamble and, and figure out. Yeah, a bit of a risk. But is there any reward? Deep off angle for Voot here. Angel, does he clear fun? Oh. <laughs> bit of an awkward fight there. <laughs> Instantaneous response from Heretics, though, to put up the, you know, the stopping gap in case they try to springboard in. But no, Na'Vi just kind of testing the waters. The Angel might pass that outlaw to someone else. Now that he's lost his light shield advantage here, he might pass it to someone else. But it looks like he's going to stay with this. They do have the Gecko Flash, the Dizzy, and the Wingman for the reclear on A. Yeah, but it's brutal. They have to use this just to clear over towards this side. Paranoia. Oh, Mini Boo was on for an opportunity. Still going to make the most of it. Boo's gone down. In the meantime, but yeah, this is really comfy. Unable to really pressure Mini Boo. Na'Vi being herded around the map, and Zugetsu, well, forced to kind of suffer through the end of this. If he can take another with him, hey, maybe not to be the case. Mini Boo, clean start, and he's going to have his ult ready to go. Yeah, I think the showstopper is going to be pivotal on this bonus round. If Team Heretics is able to snowball with this, you know, we've seen such good traps and setups from them both these rounds. So if they're able to snowball, this could be a really risky situation. You know, Team Heretics picking Lotus over a, a map that you would traditionally expect, like Sunset maybe? Yeah. It seemed like they're a little bit stronger on that than on Lotus. And Navi's shown that they're actually quite decent on this map. So they'll need every lead that they can get. And I, I think PM was right in bringing up on the desk a little bit of, you know, uh, maybe playing outside of the expected a touch. And you've clearly seen them reworking this, right? Heretics have come in with a very different composition. New agents you brought out. That paranoia um, has been spotted. Yeah, that's actually big info. Does this then speed anything up? Do they pause? It looks like they're trying to maybe lean in quicker, but this is dangerous for Na'Vi. Luckily for them, 
They can chill for a bit, but look how proactive heretics are being across the map here. Angel stole that A lobby control at the start of the right round. There. He didn't even use Gecko, any abilities for him, from it. No Dizzy or anything, just walked out, dry saw, nothing. They have an inkling that Cypher's probably playing the retake on A. Because of that really aggressive push on C, you don't traditionally see that behind the Sentinel player nobody. playing there. So again, maybe the logical step is to try and challenge a C site. Now, I don't know if Boo spotted anything yet, maybe. He was definitely jump spotting it. I feel as though considering he's slipping back towards site and now off the back of the spam, yeah, he's definitely noted it. We've got the rotation coming in as well. I think they they suspect something's <laughs> happening, but They're yeah, not again, for it. Navi's so indecisive of their own that it's just like, which way are they going? So it, it's hard for either team to kind of read the situation. But credit to Heretics for not over rotating or overreacting to this. They're, they're playing this very, very smart here, left. and it's a last minute attempt now. They've got to commit to it. 25 seconds, maybe a quick pip to B would still be possible, but not now. Now they've got to commit. Zipan does well with one, and can Zipan live? No. Miniboo gonna just be lighting this round up with two quick kills. He is having a tear this game so far. Eight already in this matchup. 13 seconds. Na'Vi need the plant. Priority made that down. Time's on their side. Now the rest, you've got to look at what Heretic's coming back in with. Boo's only got that Sheriff. The Outlaw with Rien's. This is a rough round and they've taken away the danger man. Perfect fall from Artis. Not going to be able to close down to Rien's, but this is a lot to ask of him. 40 HP. Maybe looking for just the Vandal. See what he can achieve in this. Again, for a bonus round, not bad by any means. Still trying to force them to make a choice. And Angel found the timing right, so they can walk away and hopefully keep these weapons in hand. No issue there in the end. But Na'Vi, a costly round for them. Very costly. I think the showstopper usage there is kind of a letdown for Team Heretics. You expect to close out that round. But I like the gamble suck they did. They showed that they were aggressive on C, and they knew Na'Vi's not going to go back to C unless they use like something to reclear, maybe a Dizzy or, or something. They know that the Cypher's playing retake A. They're going to come into A, and we're going to be here with our showstopper and just be ready to receive them. Right there. So the buy back in now for Heretics, fully formed. And on the other side for Na'Vi, everything they want as well. Uh, one off from Artis' ult, that's looming on the horizon. I wonder if they've got something in mind for this, but Heretics, right off the rip. Again, very happy to challenge on these extremities. We saw it last round on C, now we're seeing it over towards Rubble. You know when those like solar eclipses are happening and they say, don't stare directly at the sun? <laughs> I wonder if Angel's one of those guys that just looks straight at the sun. I feel like he would. And now, oh, this, this timing is rough. For Mini Boo. Boo trying to keep him somewhat safe, but he couldn't do enough. There was no more to be done. The dizzy, the push, everything was perfect for that. But it's traded out one apiece, and they're not going to work off the back of this yet. Where does Na'Vi go? They, I don't want to if, say it's indecisive, but they're being very, very careful with how they decide to approach this map. I think here we might see them doing a little bit of a pump before they finish where they want to go. And I think the Brimstone really helps with that because he's able to deploy multiple smokes at the same time. Whereas like it takes a little bit longer, like a few seconds longer to do it with Omen. So here comes a little bit of pressure towards B. They're breaking the trips, but they're going to connect with their team on towards C. Benji just on Benji. Benji. Oh, this is, this is a really hard situation. Sometimes this guy can thrive though. Don't forget what he can achieve if given the opportunity. And the support's on the way, and they've slowed down the initial attempt at the plant. There's the swing, not quite good enough. Traded out, but it's food who's made it towards the site. So again, still a couple of problems being presented for Na'Vi. 20 seconds, and they don't have backside control. They've only Sugetsu left to try and clear this. 1v3 is a tall order. Ah, he's not going to have this one. No, Rienz is there. Heretics responding well here, because Na'Vi are being quite slippery with how they're approaching this map. I think that they kind of made a mistake in that last round by okay. going... So when you break the trips and everything towards B, you're calling basically everyone back from A towards B, which gets them a bit of a jump on the rotate to C. And I'm thinking, like, are they really being slippery? It looks like Benji is a little bit slippery there. He yeah. was perfectly positioned, waited for his teammates, the honk comes in, the flash comes in, he peeks with it, but unfortunately, the second player from Na'Vi wasn't blind there. I I'm really liking the defense from Team Heretics right now. Oh, it's, it's looking pretty solid. I want to see what the response is, though, because they've got to deal with this early round aggression that's been garnering them space, and this is just sloppy. This is messy. Oh, Zipan so much damage. It's just passing out damage like it's free. You are lucky to be alive, Boo. 10 HP, and as same could be said for Mini Boo, only on 20. This aggressive start is being dealt with now. They're willing to challenge. They're willing to fight for this. Na'Vi getting a little scrappy here and taking a lot of that A space away. I wonder if they're going to wait for the more utility to come off of cooldown, or if they're going to brute force into A site. They also have... Oh, no. Oh, the timing on that. Uh, I'm surprised either are alive, really. It's Skin amazing. Yeah, both sides kept those players up. It just doesn't even feel right. But 
Again, Na'Vi would love an opportunity to get a pick here, but Heretics do need to play a little bit carefully, dismantling some of this stack. His paws have left them sweating long enough. I think they're starting to peel away from this. Now is where we might see something a little bit slippery. As we see everyone holding the space towards A here, we're going to see them putting a little bit of pressure towards B, or maybe it's going to be an A fake, and then they're going to connect to B through the blue door and see if Sagetsu is able to get a pick here. This is Benji Fishy's spot, though. The timing's everything. If this split is well constructed and well timed. Left. Oh, that's clean from Benji. He knows there's more. He's got two already. Does get traded, but it's Shao and Ardis. No easily recovered weapons either. This is difficult. And look where the spikes dropped. That's going to add insult to injury. Very difficult to get that back in hand. That could have been that maybe potential to pivot towards LA side, but no. Spike where it is. They've got to try and swing it together. Lovely positioning from Heretics. Locking that one down. And really getting a good grip on this game again. So I see Heretics look solid here. They're not making any mistakes, it looks like. I feel like left. there could have been a really dangerous situation if that breach stun comes in at a little bit of a different mm. angle and actually hits Benji there, and Benji's not able to take out those first two. We could have seen a completely different situation, sure. especially if Navi able, is able to get another kill or two. Then they have that rolling thunder still that they could have invested into the round to secure it. But now, I mean, we're so close to so many ulties for Navi, we're probably going to see at least two of them this round. Yeah, snowball round in hand. Artis oh. has his. Angel's got his as well. But that's no real detriment to heretics and their aggression. No fear to be shown at the start. Going to take that space, get the alt orb in pocket. I want to see if they try and explore the map again. Look how versatile Mini Boost being. He's everywhere in this map. Early contact on A. Cool, no worries. I'm off elsewhere. Looks like they're just gonna, they see the investment from all the abilities on A lobby from the defense. Navi goes over towards C, gets that orb, pushes it back, that space a little bit. I wonder if they're gonna go up a little bit more to break the trip or camera or anything like that, but it does look like they wanna go and reclear A, knowing that usually when the defense takes A, they just leave it open or leave one player there because there's no real good spots to play it from. Okay, so a clear of rubble using fish. Alt, and now it's on Boo. How do you respond to this? Do you call for support now? Or are you expecting this to be a fake? This is a really bold assessment from Boo if he decides to not rotate on this. You can see the heretics want information, right? That's what they're trying to prioritize. Where the hell are Na'Vi? Because they haven't carried on that trajectory. They showed a little towards A, but there's no follow-up. There's no commitment behind it. So once again, heretics are in the right place here. 30 seconds Incredibly left. Incredibly good reads, and we're getting late. This is where it gets scary, because heretics now, with that little bit of utility investment, can actually do so much damage. Mini Boo tries to go forward. He does do well, but it's Benji Fishy who tries to join him, and maybe Na'Vi get gifted a chance here. 15 seconds, though. What does Na'Vi Re-ends? Okay, they're just walking smokes here. That's not going to work against Na'Vi. It got so down to the wire there, but Na'Vi just played it patiently in the end. Only one ultimate use there for Na'Vi as well. They get four in this round, mm. and they can get great combos as well. We've got Lockdown plus, you know, Brimstone ulti combination. You have Rolling Thunder with the Brimstone. You have Rolling Thunder with the Showstopper. So there's so many combinations that we're going to see something coming out here. And I'm actually disappointed from Team Heretics. It, it looks like they're so good with their gambles. Yeah. And they, they're down to like 25 seconds left in the round, and they go for that fight on C-Mound. I feel like they were stressed for, like, information. Like, are they going to... Team of options, as you said. So there's, many there's, variables, there's yeah. There's a million in different combinations they could look towards here as to how they want to play it. But also for Heretics, this is just, can we be dangerous this round? We've got a bonus rifle basically, or like kind of a hero rifle on re-ends. The rest on Sheriffs, some very light investment around it. They have a couple of alts of their own and very nearby to getting some online. This looks simplistic from Na'Vi so far. And I'm seeing a walk from Heretics on the other side of the map. We're looking for value here. And that's some of it. Benji Fishy, brilliant. One is all he's going to get, though. The site will be theirs. Rocket gets posted, Boom. and he gets a reward. Food's gone down, and the flank gets noticed. So Getsu was already on the case earlier here. Paranoia is probably going to cause you know, cause him his death in this, but still, is there any more danger? Is there any more? If Heretics gets one more kill here, Mini Boo can invest that showstopper, but it looks like they're already in for a little bit of either. Oh, wait, is he popping a satchel to get fast movement? They do want to go for this. It's, it's going to be difficult, but if they're able to get that first opening into the round and then pop that showstopper... But Ardis' position is brutal to clear. He's just going to be playing this and he can slip back towards sight. One yeah, there's, there's, it, clearing Ardis was the hardest part of this one. Good trade for Boo. I, I, he's doing some serious damage. It's not the dream that Na'Vi would have wanted, but... One enemy oh my shot. god, Boo! Oh, so Oof. Okay. Okay, I got, I got, got, close. I, I got, I got way close. too close. Like, what? Well, uh, Ooh, calm down. Like, he's, he's hitting some shots. But Na'Vi, make it out of the woods, standing and alive, right? Now, Heretics have a similar 
prospect, I guess, as Na'Vi did for the last couple of rounds. They've got every single ult available. And it's their opportunity to answer back. Can they stop the rot here? Because this could be a momentum building round coming up, right? This could be three in a row for Na'Vi. This would be a very big round to confirm. But four by against four by, plenty of ults on either side here. This is a critical round. It's critical for both sides. I think Na'Vi really want to get this. And I like the investment of the Showstopper only last round, because typically like the Razor's going to be getting a lot of the opening kills, which means that they're going to build up their ultimate fairly quickly compared to other agents like Breach that's like flashing for players. Ooh, Paranoia takes him off. This is so you know, on a knife's edge in this round. Um, Benji Fishy again. They've sped this process up, right? Na'Vi last time around would pull a couple of fakes, kind of show presence around the map, try and keep them guessing, put a couple of question marks here, there, and everywhere. This time we can see a lot more committed progress towards C early, but no big response yet from Heretics. They're happy to sit in this. Heretics has been conditioning these C mound fights and traps a couple of times this game, and I know he's a little bit scared of it. Great repositioning nice. of the util by Benji there. Love right that there. he had the foresight to see that this was going to come in. All the info from the Omen teleport there as well. So this looks... It's, uh, again, they've got to let Na'Vi sweat here. If you're Heretics, you can't over-respond. Heretics has so many alts, they, they're not afraid to let Na'Vi make the first play. Oh, and it's going to be towards B. And it's a very quick battle. Angel on the case, joined by Artis and Na'Vi just collapsing Heretics. Rient and Benji Fishy now feeling almost irrelevant to the round, so Getsu's been waiting here the whole time. Finally his opportunity, but Benji Fishy also has made it towards the site. Only good for one. Thought he might have had a little more there for himself, but Rien's with 13 seconds. It ain't much time to play with. He hasn't got the position, and Na'Vi bulldoze their way in towards that B site, and it works out so well. And that's got to be hard. Like, that's, a, that's a pause right there for Team Heretics. That's got to be yeah. a, a timeout from the coach. Hey, we got to talk about stuff, because we just burned three different ultimates into this round towards, you know, Na'Vi. They used none. And, and they lost the round off of it. Like, you can't have your gun round after doing an eco. You pop three ultimates against zero ultimates and lose the round. That's the Na'Vi is going and disrupting the retake. We haven't really seen Team Heretics going for those 4v4, 5v4, no, 5v5 right. retakes. It's been disrupted. Na'Vi there pushing through the, the link yep. before anything could happen. Yeah, and now do we see a pace change from Na'Vi? Do they try and go for something a little bit more one-dimensional? I want to see how they come at this, considering they've just had that timeout. But again, they are up against Sheriffs and some odds and ends, so maybe they want to be a little bit more careful. And as it stands, Na'Vi once again kind of testing the lay of the land itself. And it should be a relatively right passive start to this round, as Heretic's just taking their time. It seems like they're more just having a chat towards spawn, which, you know, take the timeout, don't blame me. Wow, that's a big investment here. Uh, and all just to the round, it. I mean, yeah, do why it. not? Yeah, yeah if, it, I, if it gets you the round, to wait to see the outcome. Highly likely, uh, as plants gonna come in. Navi should be able to finally tip the scales to yeah. get the lead in their hands here. Mini Bush should bait a little bit. See if his teammates can get some kills. He has got the showstopper oh, after. Let's see what he wants to achieve in this already, though. First man down. It doesn't feel like that might be the play already, though. I hear the investment, and I see yep. it working. Heretic's going to find two. Na'Vi now on red alert. They've got to be careful here. Already, so Getsu and Xiao going to take them away from that spike. Keep this safe. Boo couldn't quite find the play in on this one, and they're desperately trying to get towards this. Alt's going to come in. They're drawing a lot out, but still, the round is looking set for Na'Vi. Boo can't do enough. Oh, and so Getsu letting them know a little bit there. Okay, Na'Vi. Taking the upper hand now, that's five to them. They had to burn a couple of ultimates to win that round, Na'Vi, but I don't even think that's the worst thing because Team Heretics is traditionally like pretty strong on their defense, and if Na'Vi is able to kind of min-max how many rounds they can get on their attack, it's going to make the rest of the game so much easier for them to close out. They still have this lockdown, they haven't used it at all, so I wonder what we're going to see with it. Is it going to be like a real hit or a fake? But yeah, big investment from that uh, showstopper again from Minibu, but... This is uh, another time that they use it and can't convert. It's got to hurt. Yep. Four to five. Na'Vi now in the lead. And a pace change. Look at the pressure towards Mound. Do they follow this up, though? Are they willing to scrap on this one? Boo certainly was. He's going to find Zipan, but Angel's got the trade. And again, you're going to start seeing the Na'Vi. Do they stick to this? They certainly are now with Rien's going down. Got to be a little careful to not overdo it, but not falling for any of this early round aggression. If they are, they're willing to meet it. Oh yeah! Monster on the moon. <laughs> they're taking no... Oh my god, I was going to say they're taking no risks, but Mini Boot 
over delivering almost, but it's a 3v2. This is difficult, but not impossible. Trying to, his position. yeah, maybe trying to slow him down a little bit, allow for rotations from Benji, but you should run. Ah, yeah, lockdowns coming into play. They've got so many of these ults to run through, or at least had. I think Angel's got his back to play with. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> Food with the drive by Angel's head's going to be ringing after that. So, got to get out of there. But still, bringing it back to a two v two is fantastic. Smokes down. Benji does have a hat to use if he goes through the door, but it looks like he's going to go straight through waterfall on this retake. Fresh smokes. It's going to be another 10 seconds before they get to go through. Molly as well. Really, really difficult to try, try to approach from that manner. But hey, here's the adjustment. There you go. This is what you're asking for. So you get to. Does he stop before it starts? Not yet. Information coming. They know where they are. And that's a very spellable box. Fu's going to deliver the punishment towards Xiao, expecting the readjust. Excellent read from Heretics on the playback in. Good work from both of them there, playing to their strengths. Foot finding that little fadeaway on Angel was ridiculous as well to bring it to the 2v2, but still, Heretics matching the scoreline back to five apiece. It's one of those classic, like, look over there things. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, but I, I really like how, you know, there was enough time left on the brim smokes. And this is kind of like how smokes can kind of work against you. If you lay down your smokes, you, you hold the smoke and you're gonna have the advantage with a player coming through it, but you're denying yourself the information. People aren't gonna run through for those, you know, 10 seconds. You gotta be staring at it the whole time. Gives them time to rotate around, open the door, get the hat off on right onto the dead players. And then with that information, now it's now it's just like they have the upper hand coming in for the retake. Okay, it's it's a step back into this matchup because those four rounds back to back would have been motivation crushers for Heretics. Do they get the right read again? How does Navi decide to paint this round? What's their approach looking like? Gonna clear the utility and now Benji knows he's in trouble. He's got players left, right and center and Zipan out does him. Sight under the Navi control. They're gonna get the plant off the back of this. Nothing to deny that, so time's on their side and what a pace change too. Yeah, we've seen a couple of like very fast plays. You would think you would see yeah. it when you have the ultimates, and then here it comes with just just guns. That's all they need, apparently. Uh, but now we can see heretics on this retake that we've kind of famed them for a little bit here. Miniboo trying to be set into motion, but Angel outdoes him. How's he gone away with that? And Heretic's just trying to put bodies on the side. They're going to get traded out, but the number's just so favorable for Na'Vi. And they're just not letting him through here. Rien's. It's going to be a valiant attempt. He needs to near on heroics at this point. You can already see that Molly trickling through. He knows the time's up. Na'Vi right back in the driving seat. Six to their name now. Lovely pace change there after Heretic's finally answered back. I think we're going to see a, a little bit of a slower round here from Na'Vi. Like, maybe an initial, they take control. They're, they want to get Zaifan that showstopper and utilize that in this round. It's going to be pretty big. If they're able to close out 7-5 in this half, especially after losing Pistol, that's going to be a really big half win for Na'Vi. Hands down now. Looking at the buy. It's not it's, pretty. It's, it's not nice. I'm looking at what Boo can even really get here. <laughs> I think he's even deciding what he can get away with. Uh, the rest, yeah, Guardians, couple rifles, but there are Sheriffs. Yeah, that's all he can really afford in this. And on the other side, Sugetsu, even with the Operator, a whole new look in the last couple of seconds. And Minibu trying to maybe hunt for another weapon, but just here's the up oh, rattling off a shot, and Na'Vi instantly take the B site. Wait, where's Boo gone to? Where's Boo gone to? Hello? Someone turn around and deal with Boo, please! They do, Ardis. Oh God, he's under so much pressure. He's able to kind of like calm himself here, but that was so precarious as we are into this 4v4 post plant. Still two rifles in hand for Heretics. That's Rienz and Mini Boot. And Heretics are drop. Oh, belting shot from Benji Fishing. A quick trade from Angel, though. Not going to let them go unanswered. Na'Vi no, digging their heels in. They just need a 1v3. Now down to a 1v2. That left corner. Oh my god. No, 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 no. What is going on here? Mini Boot, relax a little. I don't think he's got time for this. He's running so he's low on it. Use the paint shells. Yeah, I think no. he knows it. He's out of time here. Angel. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, the mechanics are just filthy, but it doesn't matter. Seven rounds. He's a happy boy. Maybe he doesn't want to see that highlight again, but you know, rounds are rounds round. You won the battle, but I won the war. <laughs> Literally, that was the most prime example of it. Uh, I, I mean, throughout this entire half, we've basically seen that same thing that we talked about at the start of the game, though. Just 
Team Heretics, like the only real time that they get to play like a five versus five retake came down to a situation where they had two sheriffs in hand. And we saw Na'Vi just consistently disrupting them all throughout the time. So moving into the second half, I just don't even know what to expect from either team. Na'Vi is, is looking so in point when they get all these multi-frags. We've seen it from like multiple situations yeah, where there's lining up and like three or four kills on Team Heretics happen in all like in one instant. So five to seven, first half. Again, we did note that this is probably going to be one of the closer affairs. I think even the desk highlighted they feel it's going three. It could very much be the case. Two quite evenly balanced teams here. I'm glad to see the scoreline somewhat representing that even after the first half. I love this usage of the Prowler, the Breach done ready to go on top of it. If it triggers, they're going to have a sight for free. A sight control gained. Oh, nice pain shot there. That Spike could planted. be a bit of an issue. Had to uh, put the plant down, took a bit of chip damage. Dizzy going through, clearing over towards Rubble. And Na'Vi kind of squeezing across the map. Some towards CT, some towards T. Benji Fishy takes a swing. Hits it. Can't get away from that flash. Oh my god, okay. He does get closed down on, but there was a trade ready. Credit to Rienz to kind of almost overextend to get that, to bring that numbers advantage still to Heretics. Sight pressure comes in. Yeah, that's... Heretics aren't losing this one. They are playing this push and pull until Xiao pulls them apart. Two back to back. No third for him this round. And Heretics pick up another pistol. You know, we talk about mm. if if it goes whatever, three maps. Yeah. I'm not sure. Really? I'm looking at this. Well, I'm, okay, thinking this okay. I'm thinking Tame Heretics needs to amazing. close out this map. I think if it goes to split, we're going to be looking at something a little bit scary. Team Heretics hasn't looked good on split at all. So unless they have a trick up their sleeves, they should probably like look to close out here. Navi's in a really good position. I think it's three mapper. I All right, we'll I see. Three, that, that, well, oh, fine, fine. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm a believer in this so far. Um, be right. Split does it does add a question mark. When we're looking at the veto, to be fair, there's like, ooh, splits, split coming in. You didn't want to take that one away, huh? All right, you've you've picked your poison. It seems. Uh, this round, I don't want to call it a throwaway, but let's see what those sheriffs frenzy classic can achieve here. Quite difficult, but they do have the players in the right place for players towards that A site. Already seeing Sugetsu go and walk about. So he can't really get to, well, I want to see what he can find here or how far he explores. Because obviously Benji Fishy on the other side is walking through sea with no resistance and Sugetsu is behind them. That's a player spotted. Hello Deleted. and goodbye. Boot's gone down. Sugetsu can just hit and run. That's all he had to do there. That's a huge amount of damage achieved. But the rest of the round gets very difficult with Benji Fishy taking so much space. The full A gamble stack. They'll have the man advantage going with the retake, but they don't have the weaponry for it. The breach artist has full utility. That might be the difference maker. Info for Sugetsu. Yeah. Keeps his life. seconds left. Time to rotate now for Na'Vi. Spike planted. Yeah. And a guardian for Angel. I guess, yeah, I guess he got that off a of boot. They went. Huh. Didn't juggle that one away, but as it stands, that's a nice little pick up there. Gonna drop that one off. He's got plenty of util, Angel. This is gonna be sketchy. Paranoia, nice to offset the timing and tempo a little. Keep them at arm's length, but Na'Vi starting to heat up here. Benji Fishy has fallen, they're down to three players. Suddenly this becomes a problem. Mini Boo back to the wall, and Na'Vi flooding the site. High Dizzy comes in, Artist finds Mini Boo. This is incredible from Na'Vi, but Rienz is still on the site, and he's not letting this one slip as best he can, but it's down to a 1v1. Oh, Rienz. Whew. That got far too close for what that was. An incredibly costly round for Heretics, but 7-7. Seven, 7-7, seven. Seven, seven. that was close. Again, another uh, opportunity for a bonus round to clear up here. Na'Vi doesn't have any ultimates here, but Rienz does. And that could be a really big thing here coming in. I want to see the buy they go for as well, the Heretics. I'm kind of interested to see how far they invest into this. Just get the stingers. Drop the sheriffs, get the stingers. One thing I have to point out though is Benji, he's traditionally so strong, like a rock, and, and so important for these guys oh, as we no. speed up here. Yeah, pace change, and Miniboo's in danger. Does he get to live? Uh, I don't think he does, not. V turning the screws here. Xiao and Zipan with the opening picks over towards Rubble. The control off the back. And Heretics are left in tatters. What a start from Na'Vi. Oh, look at Sugetsu again. How many rounds is he going to be behind them? 
Now, luckily for Heretics, it wasn't Benji Fisher who died. He's the one fighting back. Angel gets cleared close, and there's no trade available. Nothing. That felt almost a worthless death to a degree. <laughs> but, okay, Zipan's still on the case. Grenade. And it's down to Rien's and mini boot. That... Enemy remaining. Oh, Jesus. Rien, you got another in you? A 1v3 this time, perhaps? 21 HP and a bit of a prayer. Zipan just needs to live. Rien's goes cresting that corner too deep. He's so vulnerable. He knows it. Elbow. So you get two. Yeah. Not the only threat there. Artis was on the same angle. And Na'Vi. So many ultimates used from Team Heretics this game where they weren't able to convert the round. And that's going to be just hurting so much for these guys. <laughs> the amount of ultis, they they haven't used them in the best situations, to be okay. fair. So it's, it's kind of on them a little bit. But if they were sharper with that, we could see uh, Team Heretics in the lead a little bit. Navi able to stop it. And Team Heretics has lost their pistol round leads. Basically, that's all it is, right? They have four rounds off the back of the pistol round. Pretty much. And we go again. This time, Mini Boo with a little bit more freedom. Oh, Angel. What? How is Angel. I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it, man. All you gotta do is, I guess, click on the heads. That's it. It looked like Heretics were in the right place that time. And again, Angel just kind of left in no man's land. And then he gets bailed out by things like showers there, a couple of others. That was incredibly well done to keep him safe like that. But now what are you meant to do? Did you fish here? 1v3. And, and I mean, the round's barely started. And look who's on the flank again. So you get to permanently. Oh. Oh. My ultimate is ready. Feeling it, baby? Well, he what are you it. up to? Well, anyone can. Benji is one of those players who can. Hello, pace change. Taking fight? it up, huh? I want to see how he plays this. I almost wish I was just a spectator rather than casting. It's <laughs> right? always interesting to see what he goes just for. Sit down. Just do a watch party. <laughs> Benji Fishy, what is the game plan here? Because I just, I don't know why, but with him, I feel things are possible, right? He's got a decent amount of time. Now, problems though, if we're going to talk about it, one smoke, push out, Molly. And you still got Ardis with his utility. So they're coming well equipped, and not to mention it's Shao and Ardis. He kind of needs one here. And he's found one. Benji Fishy is playing this like a god. A 1v1, does he reposition? How does he want to approach this? This round is his canvas, and he can paint it how he wants. Shao trying to close in. Time. You can hear it's starting to tick here. The clock is on his side. Two kills. It needs to be three for Benji. He hears the steps. Oh my. This guy is ice cold. This is so sick from Benji. That is so goddamn sick from Benji Fishy. What a Red Bull clutch from the man. Playing that to perfection. All you have to do is call him out a little bit and he gets like fueled up by it, right? <laughs> he takes this personally. Oh, I haven't been playing well the whole game. All right, here's a 1v3. And I, I really like the position with, between everything. Just like the, just the presence of mind to know about this push from Sigetsu. He's been doing it. Basically, all game, yeah, both sure. sides. Finds him, gets his hat, gets the last two positionings, and he plants from mound. Mm -hmm. Once he plants from mound, he positions himself elsewhere, and he's able to isolate those one on ones and just. Oh, so squeaky. That was real clean. Off to a stop, though. Zipan wants his name up in lights. He's going to get it. Oh, oh. Lovely for the third. Go on, Zipan. Oh, that's oh. how you break their hearts. Oh, Zipan just takes the fight. Just takes the fight. It's like, oh, Benji Fishy, great, hey, no, great clutch, dude. But I'm just gonna destroy your whole team. So you get a clutch, Sick. I get an Andalusia flawless, right? <laughs> yeah. like, look but, at this, dude. Ugh. These are dirty kills from Zipan here. But I, one thing I don't understand is Team Heretics. They have not been doing very well starting the fights all throughout their defense half and on attack. Whenever they try these fast-paced plays, they're not winning them. They, they're playing it like they still have Neon, but they don't. And Miniboo's just getting caught. Miniboo can activate throughout this, but gotta say it. We start to see a real heater between these two. Money's gonna be humbled this round, though. Down to the sheriff's bits and pieces on the other side. Money's starting to become robust, getting a you know, buy in hand almost here. Vinavi, look at those alts as well. Ardis, not a million miles away. Zipan with his online. Angel, two off. Angel's got to be a little careful though. As he has been caught out a couple of times. TP dealt with, and they're going to start trying to take that space. I think Zipan's going to invest his showstopper in this round. He's been so liberal with it throughout the game. Yeah. Any more? Oh, yeah, 
side. <laughs> this is just so Spike difficult to even witness at this point. One by one, Rien's left with a ghost and a dream. Any upgrades around? Not close enough. No. It's quite tricky. That's... <laughs> Why is that? 30 yeah. seconds left. All right. Still no upgrades here. I mean, okay, nice try. Nice try. Shall. Not allowing any fun to happen. You know, just no fun allowed. You need to calm down. We've had a couple of these rounds now. We're individually. You guys are heating up a little bit more. We're going to just calm this down. Speaking of calming down, heretics calling the timeout. Uh, eight rounds to the name. Navi's starting to get into the swing of things. Economy's starting to stabilize, starting to get everything they want here. Uh, heretics need to come up with like a you know, the, the whole game plan of how they want to approach this as you highlight and then they can re re execute onto them okay let's see if they can maybe do that some key ultimates in play we got rolling thunder for both sides might be a lot of players thrown into the air no one going for anything too risky here can you keep my eyes on angel a little bit Sometimes Angel does do weird things. For now, though, relatively calm and composed, excluding Miniboo, who's actually got a fair fight against Xiao and sends him away in tatters. A little bit of a different look exactly. now. Heretic starting to keep, really take control of that B side. Lovely Spike trade to them. Angel B. does get one back, but the side should be... I don't want to say there's for free, because there's still players nearby, and they're very aware of Miniboo's positioning, since he already showed towards Waterfall. A deeper angle, and that's who gets who's got it. So yeah, a bit of a, a nuisance, but I like this pivot as well. Heretic's opting for that A plant, Spike which is probably planted. the right call. Navi has a little bit to work with, so they're going for it. Oh. Uh, just shout out, 1v4. So a lot to ask of him. And I think he knows it, so... He's just trying to look to do damage to the to Team Heretic's economy and maybe see if he can build up some ultimate orbs. That's all he can really do here. Yeah, and, and again, Na'Vi did have that buy in hand almost right there. They decided to build up a nice buffer of credits throughout this. And Shout, not really going to be played into as he can catch them as they try and back away, but yeah, he's not getting what he wanted here. Mini Boo still just close enough to potentially even catch him on the way down. Let's see if he can keep the rifle though. I think for now, almost a stalemate there at the end. Really no good option for Xiao, but good pivot from Heretics, keeping on their toes. I like how on that play, Mini Boo, he missed the shot on the Waterfall player, and instantly he backs up and hides, takes cover in his smoke and just stays alive. Him being alive there is a threat. And as long as he's alive, Navi doesn't have freedom to move around. So good decision to, as soon as you miss your fight, you don't have to sit there and, and fight to the death. You can back away and reposition and stay alive. That B site looking like the destination <laughs> again for heretics. They found something that works, but they put Ardis here. Does have his ult. Stall off the back of Mosh, but they're going to disrespect that mini boot. Flying in towards the site. They got to go quick. Back this up. There comes the ult though, and here comes the retake. Xiao will be the first. What? Miniboo connects on that. Takes away Xiao, but again, Angel does get a good trade. Artists on the follow up. And they're starting to suffer in numbers. Heretics not sitting so pretty now. That spike yet to commit as well. Maybe hold him back for another pick here. They need something. Oh, that wasn't pretty for Voot. Boo's going to trade it, but still. A little bit of a stalemate here. No one feeling comfortable yet. Miniboo trying to find a little bit of safety. We can see where these Navi players reside. So you get to waiting, chomping at the bit of the timing. Not good enough. I thought he might have had that there on towards Boo, but still, Artis fancies a gun, standing. and he's going to win it now. Boo, have you got a 1v2 in you? A bait on the door here. Actually committing to it. You watched Benji Fishy do this. He's like, I got this. Oof. Anything you can do, I can do better. This is tough. This is tough. Yeah, near an impossible zip and And Artis, make sure that spacing was real close that time. You know, really... Tightening those screws up, but this will be 11 for Na'Vi. So I've got to say as well, you could, you could be stuck on 10 for a while, but once you see 11 on the board, that is brutal. If anything goes wrong, if they get that snowball round, 12's kind of locked. Ugh. I, I don't know if Heretic's found that complete solution yet. They found a good look towards that B site, but I don't think it's fixed all the problems they've been having, but they've got plenty of ults to play with here, Josh. They've got 
the showstopper there, they've got the Nightfall, they've got, you know, the TP and the Boo, but still, they've got a lot to play with. Hey, but... don't, don't knock the TP, because that TP gets you val really valuable information that can target with the Nightfall or target with the showstopper. You're saying it's as valuable. I'm not saying it's as valuable, okay, well, but it's you, like... It's... Thank you for that caveat. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> well, let's see how valuable it is. Already, you can see the pressure mounting towards that A side. And it looks like they want to follow this as well. They want to commit behind this side. They've already put one of the players into play. Zipan, oh, a shot in the dark and it's worked out. Good trades over Heretics until Xiao. Showstopper finds nothing, but Arnis does. And this is just a, it's just a brawl, straight up brawl. And now just one man left to control this round is Sugetsu. They haven't progressed past they this Benji. area. Oh, and they line up, Jesus Christ. Oh, Sugetsu, down. the old gonna be invested. He swings. <laughs> It felt like there was a chance. Even my like heart stopped for a second. Rien's had to be careful there, but still, ten rounds, double digits made. They're keeping up. There, there are two round points in the game that are the biggest like tease ones. The yeah. first is the nine because the nine three curse and everything. Sure, 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 sure. The second is eleven. The amount of games that will be like up eleven three, eleven whatever, and yep. then thirteen eleven. Like you're not there yet. Clinch that OT first, but. Team Heretics is not giving up without a fight. And getting a, a little bit cleaner in the rounds. Yeah, but I'm not scared, the though, because Navi <laughs> yeah. is so close to a snowball round themselves. You got one off for Angel's ult, two away for Shao, one off for Sagetsu, and then suddenly it all becomes so much easier to get that one round that works. And it's not like Navi have been slouching. They've been, I, I mean, by scoreline, they've been leading, and also by tempo and everything else. It's just been a couple of good responses from Heretics. All going to come in here. Minibu's going to... Try and close the gap towards the site. Gonna get what he wants here. As Navi have to respect this, they have to sit towards CT. But look at where they are going. Sit flank on the way. They have Showstopper up again as well, and Thrash. But out of all the players, you want to maybe avoid. Benji Fish is one of them, such a clutch little player. And he's already found Angel. Good trade for Shao oh. clean from Riens. And avoids the Showstopper. That's a big card away from the deck. There's now three remaining. What could Sugetsu, Ardis, and Zipan do? Still got rifles to play with, so it's not without threat or danger. Ah, but the paranoia is going to slow down the play through Waterfall. Offset the timing a little. You can see the Heretics getting more and more comfortable in towards CT. You can see the flank even coming from Miniboo. Oh, and the timing, the timing just as the turret went down. Miniboo isolates Ardis. And it's being torn away at Sugetsu Falls. The final hour, Heretics are starting to look better and better for standing. Josh, they've got a lot going for them here, but that snowball round is almost online for Na'Vi. They've got three key ults for themselves. Na'Vi cannot let this slip away, but their economy has got to be in shambles after that. Yeah, what that. are they at? 3.6, 2.8? Yeah, mm -hmm. they bought, yeah, I think they might have invested too much in the previous round, but it's just like one of those OT, because once you're in OT, it's all gun rounds. Yeah, and that's true. where Na'Vi's been strong. I'm just nervous seeing Guardians yeah, and everything coming here. out here. This is a big investment from Na'Vi. It's a good Guardian map. It is. It's just risky. But they feel they've got something. They've got plenty of ults to play with. And there's no subtlety, no secrets that they're going to hear these Guardians rattling off shots. Heretic should now know what they're facing on either side of the map and, and opting against dealing with that aggression by Rubble this round. Oh! Okay, so Getsu's got that's start. yeah, that's that's I mean they don't know the level of success they've had, but that's the seat site basically open. Benji's got that hat as well. So they everyone's gonna group towards A, and then Benji's gonna drop his hat on the body, get all that info. Once they realize nobody's A, boom, they're gonna speed up and go. Boo might even use his ultimate to get into the site, they know that that's free. Yeah, Angel's seen them, but can he stall them out? Or does he want to just play a little safer? Wait for the support here, TP. Okay, towards the back of sight. Commitment, yes! Okay, Boo's gonna commit to this one. He's got the Paranoia too, that could be massive. Three players on the other side here. Oh, oh. no! Boo's made an absolute blunder! And Zipan now with an opportunity. Boo trying to make up for this one. And yeah, they've got to scrap this out. They've got to secure that site because there's a rifle left down and open and available. Angel's got his ult, everyone's got ult here. Shao as well. Angel dipping down on his own. They gotta get out of that tree, they know that. They're scrambling. Yeah. Maybe the ult's enough that it's, you know, uh, too much of a threat for 20 seconds. They're now walking into such a risk here. Oh, jeez, this is... Yeah, this oh, is where it could go guy. terribly wrong. I don't think that's going to affect the plot. It doesn't a double face towards CT. Heretics picking the right fights and showering a really difficult situation. 
Benji there, they just about pivot in time, but man, that got so dangerous. That got so dangerous, and I'm so surprised that Navi actually drops the Brim multi there. It's like, there's so much time, you're not gonna get the kill with that. There's so much time to get off, get somewhere else. You're not gonna get the kill. All you're gonna do is stall a little bit, but you still have a two on three. What are you actually stalling for? You need to get like one more, find out exactly where they are, maybe invest a thrash first. Yeah. Oh man, but I mean, this is it. This is, Navi still has two ultimates to use. True. That's pretty much all the ults we're going to see this round. Deep breaths, folks. This is the key one. Turns the Flash Angel up for the challenge. So get to drawing the eyes here, but... Man, don't get caught in the open again, Angel. Oh, Angel. He's, he's still... Look, look, look who's behind on door! Mini Boo has just wait. right up the guts through B. There's another player! There's Benji wait. Fishy! They pivoted! They split in this final round! They had no idea this was coming! Heretics! This is heaven sent! What a beautiful readjust. Just toying with Navi's expectations on the round. I want to watch this round back no matter which way it goes. And now Xiao and Zipan are left reeling after that start. Still got some utility, sure, but they've got bodies against them. Four players waiting. Zipan, a charge. Oh, oh brilliance from Zipan. Two big picks and now a fair, even scenario. And through the smoke, it just fades. Heretics in the final round there, pulling off some magic. That could potentially change that opinion. What are you looking for here? So I'm looking at Woot on the Viper instead of Breach. I like the Breach comp more, but because they've played and lost every time on, on different comps, I'm liking that they're changing something up to maybe throw Na'Vi off a little bit. Well, fingers crossed. It's quite hard to throw off Na'Vi, though. You know what I mean? This is something really weird. But we'll see. Proof's in the pudding and all that. Um, for now, Na'Vi starting out on the attack. Heretics on the defending side. Poison's on. And no real hurry to start things off with. Angel calling for that re-smoke towards Melrim. And Heretics just going to be going through the motions here. But Woot's in a little bit of trouble if he's not careful. There's plenty of players towards mid here. much time and Woot still has middle control. It's gonna be great info and Boo's just jiggling at B main. He's gonna back up. He's probably gonna drop a smoke in the middle of the site and play off that trip. This is super but patient from Navi. Navi, yeah. I mean the same thing as Lotus, kind of like, should we go this way? Eh nah, let's go back the other way. I do hate saying the phrase Navi S ground when it just gets to 30 <laughs> seconds and they've gone nowhere. But they've at least got mid control, right? So they've they've paved a couple of steps. They got the shoulder being checked from Boot. No surprises. Seconds left. But they are in a little bit of a predicament here because you can't really back from the site. Can they at least play the life for Heretics? Rien's absolutely can't. Effective trades for Sugetsu. Sites there has been a quick rotation. Again, just back and forth. And the numbers are very favorable for Na'Vi. They have no idea about Xiao either, surely. Yeah, well, now they do. Mini has gone down. That's going to be a very clean Ten plant coming in left. now. That's Benji Fishy. Trying to work his way over, but Spike planted. A rough situation. Lots to clear. Uh, very tricky for him to find any viable step forward. We said that last game, he got a 1v3. Just don't feel it here, Josh. I don't know why. You know what? Now who's pessimistic? It's always been me. That's the <laughs> that's the beauty of it. I'm a miserable git. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, one. Okay, don't stop, NG, relax. That's relax! No! No way! Time, time! Oh, oh thank you, Xiao! <laughs> there we go! Hey, whose side are you on? Uh, no one's. Uh, Na'Vi with the first hit. <laughs> Oof, that got... That was fine. That was fine the whole time. I don't I'm know close. what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, not even close. For a team that's as good as they are on defense, I'm surprised yeah. that in that round, after Woot gave up Goodbye. vent control and all of middle, basically, and they had three players towards A, I'm surprised that the two B players, that's Boo and Mini Boo, yeah. didn't kind of... Oh, sorry, that was Rians and, and Boo. I'm surprised they didn't try to play a position together, whether that like be B Heaven yeah, and give yeah. up B Main, or play in B Main together and give up B Sight. I feel a little bit late, almost, to try and respond. There was, there was no safety to play from when you're in that predicament. Hello. Hmm. Nice little ad right there. Hey, look, I do want to see, right, uh, stat-wise, have more classics been, like, used since the bundle came out? You know what I mean? Like, is there actually just bundle strats these days? I mean, classic's pretty OP. Uh, hey. Used to be happen. better, but... <laughs> True. There we go. Double drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. I mean, maybe... Like I said. Maybe I need the Heretics bundle. That's pretty good, by the way. Yeah.
Which uh, bundle did you buy? None. There's no way you didn't buy one. You would judge me if I told you. No, which I, one I, I, want, I want to judge you. No. You need to. I'm Do judging. I need to go I'm watch judging your stream? I'm judging well, now. I'm gonna go watch your stream. I'll put the bot on. Someone could let me know. That. I'd really appreciate it. For now, Narvi going yeah. through the steps here. Pretty comfortably, a little bit of a threat up towards heaven. Artist took a little bit of damage. As did Sugetsu. Oh! Hold on, this is getting Spike really dangerous. Down. That's the spike drop. Oh, <laughs> come on, Heretics. What is this? What is this? Mini Boo just had to live for a second longer and it all worked out well. That is not the round I expected Heretics to be winning. Well, if you get the <laughs> Team Heretics gun bundle, I guess Apparently you're going you're you're to get the, a couple of classic kills that's going to help swing the round. And that's going to be a <laughs> big swing round for Team Heretics. Yeah. Uh, Navi is still <laughs> going to be able to purchase some Vandals here, but sheesh. Which one did you buy? Well, I'm about to get the Team Heretics one. I just... My, my Europe account, I have none. No okay. uh, skinless Okay, well, it. I'm not being specific about the account. You have no oh. skins on, am I? Are we just, you know... <sighs> I bought the Sen one. And I feel disgusting being an EMEA caster, buying the Sen bundle. You fell for the Zelsus trap. Oh, a bit of marketing and I'm, I'm all theirs. Yep. You know, they also won the event. So I felt right, so get to with the, the first, first pick, pick on though. screens. Not bad. That's pretty good, considering they only have a couple of Vandals here and, and the rest are working yeah. with pistols. Zipan's going to not be able to get that because that's across the map. And you can see that Na'Vi, like what has been achieved early here, drifting back towards the A site. Now, I would say a little bit of an addition. Benji Fishy is on this side of the map, and he's normally quite good at holding this down if you roll your minds back some way. However, vision is limited. Only gets to have his eyes towards... Where are you? Uh, around push, and the paint shell solid. Surprised he even tried to go for that, but he tried to stick around for a second longer. Actually, the drop. Uh, gonna make it a little tricky. Gonna catch Zipan on the cross, and the spike's not been ferried over safely yet. Flash towards ramp, identifies no one, so they know they can start building back in through ramp. Holland's gonna come down. We've got a little bit of safety to play with, but not a lot. Keep in mind, there's still frenzies, still sheriffs. Sorry, that's Shao and Artist. This isn't a comfortable round yet. So he gets to looking to maybe Toxic leverage that a little with Shao. The angle. Oh, the timing, the paranoia looking good. Oh, Benji. Benji. Benji and Boo, the timing. A little unfortunate for Shaun to get to. As Angel Trap on the side just gets swung on. Heretics. Clean on the playback here. I think all of that, the entire round, was so ill timed from Navi there. First, starting yeah. with, they put up the Viper Wall for like about five seconds before they were ready to go in. They used the haunt and then mm. the, the, the grenade, the paint shells into spawn and all that stuff. But by the time that they're able go, to go into sight, the wall is dropping because the, the, it was just so disjointed. And then again here, they're setting up a play for a ramp. They're gonna send the paranoia up as soon as the Viper Wall drops. But they wait so long to do it that, you know, they haven't re-smoked screens. Benji's able to get the, the, side, uh, the shot from the side. And, you know, they just have to be a little bit more proactive and a little bit tighter with the timings. And, and just actually take the timings that they have instead of kind of waiting and, and popping stuff a little bit too early. Okay, let's see if they can maybe tighten that up going forward here. Looks very all in. This looks very clear. And they've not met the same resistance, so Benji Fishy is not here. So you've got two new players to this one, and Mini has got the trade after death with the pain shell. So shower back and forth here. Zipan tilts it a little further, but it was Rianz who was on the site early. Boombot does. Oh, I thought he had Angel there, but no. Actually, Na'Vi, in all the One chaos, actually remaining. looking pretty composed, still with four standing. And Plant on the way. They've got everything they wanted. This little bit of a gear shift, this new look they brought out for this round has absolutely caught off Heretics. And only one there in the end for Benji. Good trade for Angel. And Comfort being found in really all that chaos. It's almost as if Team Heretics got this like false sense of confidence at the end of the last game as they close out the last few rounds there. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I'm feeling it a lot right now. So what we're seeing here is they're kind of bleeding out as the round progresses. Many who first, he goes through the through the Viper Wall. He, he gets his one, but he goes down. Rian's still in the site. We're not seeing them fighting remaining. together from multiple different angles. We see it, one goes, then he's dead. Then another goes, then he's dead. It's like a gladiator style where it's just like, we gotta do something together, boys. I love this stun line. And is there a reward? Zipan at least going to be played up, but you get to work off the back of this. Two towards Vents here. Benji Fishy, the one towards Heaven. Zipan. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's got that. Benji Fishy goes down. That's B site on a platter. TP commitment from Boot. Wants to try and keep some control here. Avoiding utility towards back of the side, but this is hard to avoid, right? Oh, but he plays ahead of it. Perfect. 
tries to go for the follow-up, has to do something, but it's allowed for time. Wu's now been able to get over towards the side of the map, so Angel and Sugetsu trying to bank on the ult coming in here. And Sugetsu's just kind of giving himself nothing to put... Oh my god, come off it! Oof! Why do I always feel things are possible with Sugetsu? It's just like he'll just do something. It's like, oh, well, I guess you're going to win that 1v2. Not now. Uh, actually, Heretics continue forward. And, and I just feel between these two, it has been, I don't say sloppy, that's the wrong word, but it goes from like 0 to 100 in such weird, like, installments almost. The timing is definitely off, not just in terms of like an individual micro, hey, I'm putting my wallet too early. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like you're expecting this like slow buildup, but then it's like, oh, it, it can, suddenly explodes and busts, and you're like, okay, well, I wasn't really expecting that. Yeah. That was a bit, yeah. It, it's a little it, odd. It, it is weird peaks and valleys in terms of pacing and everything from from the teams and from when they choose to explode. Yeah, and actually, it's Boots going to put on red alert and on notice early. Nice starting damage. I can't quite close down on that, but considering the buy they've got, you're looking for any of those small benefits. Again, going with Frenzy, Sheriffs, Spectres, Guardians. Going to, ooh, I think he saw at least. I think he saw two players, if not three, possibly. I Might have caught fight. a second at the yeah. very tail end. Yeah. Not sure if he quite caught the third, but regardless, you're kind of in the right setup for this if you're imagining it that way. As Benji Fishy can somewhat solo out towards A comfortably. Uh, TP gets put towards the backside. Boo! Trying to fear. play off his life here. Actually, that paranoid did really well to slow down that ability to close. But the flash was good, but re-ends on the bailout. Offsets the timing on the push towards Pillar as Xiao now trying to close down on this beautiful utility to clear through on the site, but it's still a 3v2. Mini Boo and Benji Fishy still alive, still kicking, and now it's just one. Ult gonna come into play. He knows both are on towards the site. How do you want to approach this? He's been clutched Spike before. Planted. Does he have the chance to clutch up again now? He's such a good player with these sort of scenarios. And neither of them have 150 HP. Who's the first? Sees nothing. One Spots one left. Remaining. He's waiting for that counter swing. Doesn't see it yet. Does he know where Xiao is? Not a clue. And Xiao's repositioned towards CT. Xiao is playing time and time alone. And the clock is on his side. You can hear it ticking and ticking. Benji Fishy just needs to play it to perfection and he can't this time. Xiao disallowing any of that, playing very safe in the end, just slipping towards CT. The right call to be made is Na'Vi now, keeping the score within touching distance, three apiece. It's a big kill here, big flank from Sigetsu up B heaven. Something that Woot was aware of, just missed his shots, I think. And that opened the round up for Na'Vi to be able to get into the site, get the spike planted, get the great positionings, leaving Benji in that one versus two. It's totally reset the money as well, kind of you know, flipping the scenario on its head. We've got the Come decent on. purchase out for Na'Vi. Uh, they do have Zipan's ult ready to go. On the other side, a couple of ults, yes, but no weaponry to supplement it either. So down on the classics, Guardians. If they try and do something a little bit more creative this round just to try and offset that very severe lack of purchase. Already though, Mini Boo's been found. So things not looking great here. As re ends. Popping off shots, hoping for a connection, but still, they'd need something to really go wrong here as Angel. Sips up towards Vents. Got to be careful. We have the nice uh, attacker spawn hold from Sigetsu. <laughs> Just in case anyone's kept going through walkabout. But we haven't really seen that from Team Heretics. They haven't really pushed through and flanked, done these big flanks at all this series, I don't think. No, it's really. usually like a Na'Vi thing to do, but yeah. usually when, if you do it on your defense side, then you look out for it on your attack. Yeah. Sigets is a big player that does that. B site open. Yeah, there was a gamble stack coming out from Heretics. Opted to go for the save. Approach, put all the players there. Didn't get a reward left. for it. So it will be a plant. What is the one to do this? They will get themselves in a very comfortable post plant. Any position they really want here, as heretics are pretty much a mile away at this point. I'd like to see Woot doing something with his Viper's Pit next round. He's had this for two or three rounds now. I think okay. he's scared because Ipen has his showstopper now. But it looks like these guys will go in for a little bit of a retake, maybe see if they can get some chip damage, upgrade some weapons. Oh, Starts with one. Uh, any more where that came from? The rest are in CT. Smoke towards main. They're starting to think about this one. Benji Fishy has given them 
pause for thoughts. Shao gonna deal with the wave coming through though. Gonna find two, even look for a third. He's got three. That's fine, no threat to the defuse now. They do get a rifle to walk away with, but for Na'Vi, they'll be happy enough to take the round here. Four to the name, taking the lead now. As Heretics need to get a grip on this game, and Na'Vi need to stabilize a little themselves. Well, every round so far, we've seen Team Heretics doing the same start where their Vipers basically just denying middle control for a period of time. But Na'Vi is so happy to go with these like, late timings, these 40 seconds left, 30 seconds left, that they don't really care about this mid-timing thing. And I think what Team Heretics needs to do is something behind that. So they're denying all this mid-space from Na'Vi early, but they're not transitioning, as you would say, a uh, bowl of water. That's exactly how I sound. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> uh, but we are back on the way. Thank you for your patience. Apologies. You had to listen to us for a second too long. I hated it as well. <laughs> uh, for now, though, we're looking for adjustments. Show me also. One, we got the ult from Voot, right? Perfect. Cool. He's, he's opted to invest in towards middle. Fine. Now, do we see anything else on the map? Do we see any aggression on the extremities? Anything else to write home about? I wonder if Navi is going to do something it looks like they're posturing towards A, but are they actually going to hit and end A? Or are they going to do something where they backstab Woot? Or what are they doing? But they Ooh, have that nice. showstopper, and they do have oh, Prowlers. Oh, I'm kind of hoping they try and where filter through that way, but a really quick pivot coming out from Heretics. Already Voot's left his ult. You're going to be hearing the ults coming in from Miniboo as well. It's all getting really, really heavily invested. And they haven't really seen a body. They've seen utility. This is just going to be a shot in the dark. They're, they're probably not going to connect either. Viper's Pit's dropped in middle. And now Rien's just... Uh, ah, middle of no man's land. Now V just kind of like showed a little and Heretic's absolute bit onto it. But fortunately for them, Minibu and Voot are hitting shots. It's down to Ardis and Sagetsu. It is Ardis who's got the spike, but there's no easy route for him here. Maybe looking a little towards screens for a moment, but those smokes are dissipating. The options are getting more and more limited. He's got problems up top towards heaven, Last through towards CT, standing. and it's clean cut from Heretics. I thought that was an overreaction there, Josh, but they had players in the right place. That was looking a little interesting. I thought Na'Vi wanted to kind of show that they had a lot of players there and then pump the brakes enough to make Team Heretics have a little bit of doubt of like what's actually yep, yep. happening. Which kind of happened, yeah. right? That, that was kind of there. It looked like a, a mini, tri like a little drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> and well, basically that's what happened. But Team Heretics, they they had more players. So like the first round that they were defending A site, it was only yeah. really like Minubu comes out of heaven and then there's Rians in sight and that's basically it. But now they have a third player as well. And that was enough for them to stabilize the, there with the two deaths for the three kills. That's all you really need to do on, on defense. Just make sure that you have like one more kill than death. Keep those numbers. Mm. Now, early work from Na'Vi. Look, oh, I don't know if we caught a glimpse just as that smoke was dropping. Seeing him call in the cam does make it seem as though that's the case. So Na'Vi now, do they get a challenge on this? I mean, Voot, how do you play this one? Are they going to tether and paint shells him? It looks, yeah, it looks exactly nope. like that was the plan. He does get away with his life and a lot of damage done in middle. Benji Fishy only rewarded with one kill. Arlis got the trade there. That's an upgrade available, but still, you look at what Xiao's walking away with is three HP. There. He's still alive. And you can see the stack from Heretics. There's four players on this side of the map. If they pivot through uh, anywhere? I mean, Heretics, this is a real investment. Starting to doubt themselves. They're really starting to peel away Voot, but sticking around was Mini Boot. Rien's. Oh, the shot not on there. Angel outdoes him, and, and little by little, they're working this out. TP to back of the site. Boot. Now having to gamble. Take a guess. 30 seconds. How do you want to play this? And, and Navi aren't sitting pretty. Their HP is low. Angel 45. Xiao 3. Sugetsu 51. Boot and Voot split between the maps here. Split between the sites, even. On this map here. Boo's gonna hear all this. Does he get the timing? Right, he does. 13 seconds. They have to commit, and Boo's still here. Paranoia. Ten Smoke. Seconds. TP. The Long lot of it, and they have no game. idea. Angel seemed none the wiser. The TP was taken, and Xiao is gonna have to be a hero. Three HP and a Guardian. This is brutal for him, but at least he's got the time on his side, right? That is the only benefit to this. Does Boo use his TP for info here? He's gonna smoke it. To smoke off shout. Shadows traveling. Smoke goes in. It's creeping a bit closer here. Ah, there's nothing you could have done, Vu, with the right call in that regard. With Xiao being so low, his options are very, very limited. But again, that round felt wild to me. They stacked all their eggs in one basket, right? On towards B off that initial real contact here. One for one trade out, pretty much. 
but the damage that was received towards Na'Vi was monumental. It was monumental. I don't seconds. understand though. Team, it feels like Team Heretics, when I watch them play this, feels like they don't know what they want to really control on their defense side. Not bad. They can make something work. Good. Now, as close as we are, who's going to tip the scales? Money's starting to run a little dry for the Na'Vi side, but still able to get a purchase here. One away for the ult from Artis. That could be on the cards. Is already trying to prioritize this B main control. To get to on the other side of the map. Still going to keep them somewhat respecting that, but Artis not going to get what he wants at the start here. Again, going back to this mid take, possibly. It feels like they rinse and repeat. To Team Heretics, they, they've done their job. They've stalled out long enough. Now they can give up middle and then they can take it like an extremity. They know Beeman was exposed early in the round. They know they're losing mid now. So I think they're expecting it might be a B hit. Here comes the dog to reclear B main. They're going to get this destroyed. information on the, the breach. Now they know, like, hey, it's probably a B That's hit. Allowed. But they're not doing anything yet off of this. They're just standing around in the B site. Which is a bit, maybe still second guessing themselves as is where they are going. It feels like they're that when you're going to invest the Seekers, they seem a little lost as well. But uh, making their way through two guys on the middle. He's going to be and go away with a Nightfall, I think. Nope, of... he's coming back. Sugetsu's coming back. Sorry. Oh, you're fine, yeah. I kind of thought it was as well. That feel like the logical choice, but doubling down on this, I think the Nightfall will only catch one. Not sure if we got the second there. No, it did. Okay, Minibu got caught as well. There is a third unknown body, and now oh, Minibu's in a lot of trouble. He needs help from Rien's desperately. Na'Vi he's starting to flood on through. Zipan there, and Boo by his side, though, going to take away the tip of the spear. Turns around to look towards main. They know that's where Artis is coming from. An Angel out does Rien's. Ten seconds now, they clear back of the site. Site should be fleeced. Safe for the plot. Oh my god. Safe for the plot. Yeah, all right. Five so get to make sure of that. As Benji Fishy just a little late, but this guy's pulled off 1v3s before. Don't know if it's even fair to ask it of him again, but he's going to give it a damn good go. He's going to go for one kill first, then use the hat. Oh, but the timing. Look at Artis repositioning. That's almost unfair. Tap on the spike to try and draw someone in. No Clean. Feelings. Perfect. Does he get another chance? Can he read the post plan? Not well enough. Artis, good positioning. Not much more to be done for him there. And now V, flooding through heaven worked out so well for them. I, I was kind of in agreement with you that I thought it was going to be yeah. that pivot towards A, through the vents, kind of playing off the back of that. That felt logical. But even now, they were still up to the challenge, even if it got a little bit dangerous towards the side. It's like two things happening, right? You have the Na'Vi indecisiveness that we saw throughout Lotus as well, that they are kind of going to like one spot, and then they... It feels like it's not one cohesive voice. It's like multiple people having different thoughts and one person Easy saying crush. like, oh, we should do this. And someone else is like, no, 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 no right I did there. this. So like, we should go back. And then, you know, that causes it to be so disjointed. It does feel a little jilted, but we are seeing the sheriffs going out to play. We've got two vandals into this, which is with Boo and Mini Boo. That's about it. As a quick mid-presence shown. No surprises in that. And it feels rinse and repeat. The difference is that Boo's actually gone walkabouts. I like this from Boo. I feel like it might be a little bit too late. Yeah. to do this in the game, but this is a great reaction to have. Eh, unless you do that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, the you, theory, the theory behind it, but like if you stand there with your gun out, you're, you're chilling. I think he was like focusing too much on his team. Well, Blinded. that's like the IGL brain thing there. When you just drop what you're doing and your job to start focusing on other Last things around the map standing. as they're just bleeding out here. Yeah, Navi will be grinning with this round. Probably the most comfortable round they've had in a while. And, and and as much as it sounds silly, credit as well to Ardis to being on the point. We haven't seen that B main control at all. Really. We haven't seen that like tested particularly yet. It's been something we've been wanting to see. Right. And even highlighting it happened that late, but still being cognizant of the fact, still being very much on the job. And the site should be theirs. I, uh, again, it's just Benji Fishy. This time not even going to get played in Na'Vi. Making it up to six here with an Andrew here flawless. So everything moving in the right direction towards the uh, final round of the first half. Rolling Thunder for Artis as well. The last time they had it, they did end with B. They've been taking super fast mid control as well, so I could definitely see Na'Vi doing something in, this, in the form of pace change. Let's go fast, we do our fast mid control, we have the Breach ulti, and we pop that either to get all of B Heaven or to get B Sight, and we're just gonna see this fast crunch towards B. I don't know if it's gonna happen at the start of the round or if it's something that they're gonna pop like around one minute or 50 seconds left. We have a challenge on this. Maybe, maybe they were going to go for a, a fight on one of the <laughs> edges of the map, but not to be, again, even with a three-play stack on A. A little bit more of a challenge in middle, but not 
no one really behind it. They, they've actually, if anything, Boys sunk a lot deeper. They've done the switch up, though. They've put Benji fishing to that B site. Neuron solo. And the rest from Heretic's kind of roaming around. Navi are just going through their standard protocols, right? I feel like if this is a breach ulti, a rolling thunder into B heaven, these guys all get just demolished by it. And here's the dog reclear. It is. Scout destroyed. Okay, trade in middle. This is how effective is this? That's the question. At least one player affected potentially two. The paranoia on top, but Benji Fishy sitting deep towards CT. He's not involved yet, but he wants to keep some Gage control. Trigger, Actually, getting trigger. much closer here. Trying to slip back into this. This is audacious. Timing is everything in this one. And it's a very, very thin knife edge that he's walking on here. But this re-ends actually with a bailout. But they know where Benji Fishy is. The utility connected. He's still good for it. Last Great trade from standing. Artis, though. And brings it down to a fair 1v1. And Boo just creeping close to the inevitable death. What? 6-6. Six, six. Well, there's something you don't see every day. I, I feel like planting at that box, and I, we saw this in the other round as well when Navi did it in the, you know, one versus two. Planting in that box is it's something that you kind of like do as a last resort. So Artis was like, I want to plant kind of at an off angle and just chance that he doesn't walk out of me. But 6-6 six, six is anyone's game. Team Heretics, look at six without pistol on their defensive split. Looking pretty good. Well, wow. 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> I don't think you guys can see it yet. I wonder if uh, we will get the glimpse in game, but it looks like these two teams couldn't have been separated at this point, and we get the minimal UI. You're welcome. Prius observing in Europe. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> poor old Prius. Like, I never used to bully observers, but since Prius, you know, you got to up the ante. But Angel, oh, you're playing a dangerous game. You've got to slip back a little deeper here. Oh, look, no harm, no foul. All good. All good. Didn't see a single thing wrong. <laughs> Angel. He's, 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 the, you, you can't sit halfway between this. Fortunately for him, the dog doesn't actually clear close. Now it's going to find him, and now he is very dead. He's exceptionally dead. He's been put in his grave, buried. A little flower on top, all sorts. Zipan, Artis, and Sugetsu not quite nearby, and I'm keeping my eyes on Benji Fishy when he decides to start building up on this flank. Until then, it's on the four on the site, right? Already, there's the first bit of contact towards heaven. You can see who's turning. It's Sugetsu, right? Sugetsu wants to be on to keep that in check. Doesn't find what he wants, and they're waiting. Still, boo, down below. It's such a late One bit of timing remaining. from Benji Fishy. Unfortunately for Benji Fishy, his team have done very well. No threats really on the site. They kept very composed, but Angel just kind of in no man's land there. Surprising positioning? Maybe not. I don't know what... I mean, it's like both teams here on their defense. It's the same thing, being caught out of position, being in places where, like, what is your actual goal What are you trying here? to achieve like, here? What are you yeah, doing? Because yeah, yeah. you're, you're not stopping them if they're coming here, but you're also not spotting them deep for info to see, like, oh, wait, they're walking to B main. I'm going to back out. I'm going to call for my teammates to start shifting over. Yeah. You're kind of like, yeah, as you said, no man's land. Be somewhere kind of with purpose. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Just have purpose behind it. Don't just kind of walk about lackadaisically. That's so I mean, it depends which way you're rooting, but for Na'Vi's sake, you hope that gets a little bit of a, an adjustment to this one. Shao this time, opting to shoulder the angle. And he is a little ahead of the wall. Dog's there. This time, I'm going to try and back away. Smoke it, and he doesn't get caught off. Gap in the wall. Yeah, that, play that, that wall usually allows the attackers to walk into the back of the site. You need to position yourself. Oh, that's a big kill from Benji. Oh dear, that's the alarm bells ringing. That, that wasn't meant to have such success on the other side of the map. They were trying to reinforce this B side, get bodies down here. And Angel's maybe question marking this. Okay, they're gonna try and rotate. Where do they go? Through middle? Are they gonna try and take sewers? Are they gonna go through T spawn? Okay, I'm gonna try and find out. But 65 HP, he's only got a sheriff to do it. So now they start question marking what they wanna do. They've got 45 seconds. They've got a good amount of control, but how has Artis just walked down here? <laughs> He's just navigated past Benji Fishy, but there is still the issue. He only has a classic. If it was something else, then hey, maybe. But him clearing this space kind of makes them want to still believe in this left. B hit, right? They're still yeah, going, well, they they're not here, right? They're not on site. Benji Fishy, God know where he's gone. No one else is around. Now he's thinking Benji Fishy's gone all the way to backstab B, but the rotation all the way back to A. All right, Artis, a classic and a dream. I remember the days you could walk on water. Ah, oh, those days, uh, there was an echo of them. Um, can't quite walk on water this time, though. Uh, Sheriff's left, really, in the hands of Angel and Chow. And we've got to get to work here.
Bulldogs rifles, these are valuable items, so if any of them get cost, you know, that, that, that could be a little bit of a, a downside, but as it stands, it's looking like eight is pretty much set. Unlikely to see that change here. The camera is destroyed. Benji Fish, you got to be a little cautious. Yeah, no, no problems in that. Boo did fall. But again, you don't want to be cost any more here. And they aren't. So Heretics keeping everything moving in the right direction. But Benji Fishy, that pick was pretty much the opportunity they were waiting for there. They could have gone for that B-take, right? They could have gone for what they were initially eyeing up, but there were three players by that point. It was a good audible from them. And if this is the adjustment that we're going to see these Team Heretics making here, where they're kind of doing a slow spread default. They know that as soon as they get a pick, or as soon as they show play, uh, numbers in an area, instantly we're going to see people moving around, Just pushing. We, we saw it from Artis. We saw it from, uh, I think it was Sugetsu. Team Heretics is waiting for this. This is a great adjustment for them to make. Whoa. Instant push here. Okay, do they, is, where's, where's the next layers to this? Where's nothing. the... Yeah, okay, that... that. It, it was just like puffing the chest out to make them yeah, a little bit scared. Yeah, almost like just peacocking and then having nothing behind it. A little yeah. bit of a shame because you felt like the Heretics were caught off by that. That could have been lovely, but... Going up. No intent behind it. Just presence shown now Toxins towards B-Main. You can down. see the adjustment coming through. Oh, we... Okay, does get out of there, no trade. You can see already trying to backfill that space, I think was Angel, yeah. Already looking to try and retake that B main control. So if you are one of the A players, if you're maybe the player towards mailroom, you, you're, you're gonna be on red alert. You know they're not coming B main anymore. Angel's already cleared that. But still so split for Na'Vi. Angel has great positioning. Yeah. They have a good read that it's gonna be A. It's all about Zephan. Can you move into a better position for your team? Oh, Shao's gonna anchor the back of the site as well. They're way too split though, everyone's one, 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 one. This is very, very difficult for them. You're gonna need an individual bailout potentially, which these guys are capable of, but not something you want to be banking on here. Zip gonna be good for the pick towards Benji. Fishy and the follow-up. You talk about individual brilliance, he's got some and then to spare. And already left. Miniboo does try and start clearing through by screens, but there's still Spike the two players on the side, you've got 25 seconds. Spike is not to hand, and Boo's That's walking in with just Benji. a sheriff here. Miniboo left with it all to do, 19 seconds, and it's comfortable in the end. Na'Vi. Yeah, there was a second of danger, but a bailout from Zipan does wonders for them. Those two picks at Heaven were Screen crucial down. to convert that round, and I wonder if Team Heretics was a little bit sloppy on... Oh, man. It was just okay, a spray. It was, there. It was just a spray. Yep. Wow. I mean, was it a little bit too early to go? Like, the smoke wasn't there yet. He had a sight line for that spam line. And it's given them a chance, right? That's a gateway back into this game. Na'Vi was starting to look a little, not stalled out, but it started to get scary because Heretics were in you know, a, a good spot to build that momentum up. Can somewhat humble them, keep that economy from swelling out of control. No alts to bank on. I mean, Rienz is one off from his. Two for Xiao. Ah, oh, Zipan only one away. That could be huge. He's able to get that going early. And it looks like there'll be that battle between Benji and Zipan. They continued on that path. However, they, they just pause for a second. Actually, all attention towards middle. I like this from Navi. Oh, Mini Boo, no one was there to save him or help him out there. Between the Prowler and all the pressure, there was nothing he could have done. The rest of Heretics now are going to have to work with far less. This is on the back of maybe Benji finding a little bit of room to work here. Does he catch some timing potentially? Oh, he's praying they don't clear corners. And well, they gave it a glance, but he gets two. That's the ult. And now they can gamble the right side. They can make that informed choice here. Artis. Yeah, position noted by Pillar, so he's going to drift back towards screens, but Benji Fishy tried to get ahead. Overheated a little tried bit. Tried to get ahead. Now, sight's theirs, right? They, they can get the plant. They don't quite know where Artis has gone because it was, I think, Xiao who got the kill then. I'm going to go for the plant behind the screen. Left. It's on Fight boot and boot. A little bit of kit left as well. Smoke's on Shao. Utility on Angel. Plenty on Ardis. This is very difficult to hold. A little bit of a one-way for Heaven's gonna force them all out through screens. That smoke at lower Concussing. might telegraph this as well. Okay, gotta deal with that. They're already gonna be taken over towards Pillar, waiting late towards Heaven's gonna be one. Two towards Pillar, Boot needs a clean kill. Can't adjust, can't snap, but it's a one view. What? what are we up to? Oh, I think he did, bullets? I, no, I, I think he, he he thought that the player was going through elbow. Shao oh, was going to go through no, elbow. So he was trying site. to slip ahead of it. He was trying to go a, around and yeah. play ring around the Rosie, but he must have got the, the call late or just oh, not processed man. the information. 
If he was gone out there, yeah, it could have been a different story. Oof. But it is a eight. Bloody hell. But that's, I, I don't know what the, the money's not good for heretics. I know that much. So this is where it can really start turning. We know that Na'Vi traditionally do nail it in the gun rounds, right? They've been really solid overall in that regard, but... And even, Man. even here at middle, I, I like what they did a lot. They know Benji Fish, he's towards A, which means he's he's probably alone. He throws his camera up. I love what they do, right? Zyphen, yeah. he peeks, he breaks the camera. Instantly, they group, group towards mid, and they're doing a fight with four people. Not two or three. They're grouping immediately and doing that fight because they know that that next step is going to be there at mid. Bring them down. That might be a little ahead of this utility, so not be able to get that nice little crunch going on here. Miniboo just, oh, gap closing. Dives in head first, but Na'Vi respond quickly. He's got Showstopper. They get the chance to use it, or if they need it, Don't not need at all. They handled that well. Three still alive for Na'Vi. Moving on forward, starting to get this game building very favorably for them now. One off from double digits. Couple of ults in hand, too. Everything's starting to look really solid for them here. One of the things we've seen from Team Heretics is that they've they've been five manning a lot. Yeah. We've seen the occasional kind of spread default into a play. They do have Sky. Not sure if that's going to come into play here, but I mean, Benji Fishy's been finding boatloads of success, but they need to convert this into a round. There's been three back to back for Navi. Money's going to be finding real stability. Already 5.2 sitting on a couple of players. And here it is, a, a proactive start already. Paint shell off the rip, B main control. Fully in place. Oh, 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 oh food! Uh oh. I've got well, your that's a part. Oh, oh no. the timing on this one is all over the shop. Mini Boo has taken over a little bit of space towards A. They're going to check on him surely. Angels already won out the fight towards Ramp. This is all bizarre. It's topsy turvy. Do they get to play him in? They do. Boo finds the timing right and he gets out of danger. So they can now. Pause, slow things down for a second. They've got a 3v2. They don't need to hurry everything. They've still got over a minute to work with. And Benji's still alive for Team Heretics, and he's been so crucial for them. It's it's like a night and day difference, though. When when he's online and activated, and especially when he's in these clutch and mid-round situations, it looks so good. I'm so surprised that, you know, I don't, I don't want to keep banging on Lotus, but... It, mm he was not getting that same sort of value or impact at the start of the game, and now he's just really unlocked at the moment. Yeah, let's see if Artis can match any of that. As a legend in his own right, but now he's gonna need Last some key. Oh. <laughs> I mean, left. I don't wanna ever play against Benji Fishy. You see what it's like from the opponent's perspective? It's horrific. Just getting jump scared oh, by the little exactly pinhead coming out without his hat on. And El Shao, oh man. Position's Cover just been pinged. And you've got a firing squad to the right, and you've got a player playing in an off angle. Oh my god, a nice try from Shao. Damn, dealt with Benji Fishy and Voot there, but yeah, Miniboo nicely spaced, making sure that that wasn't going to be comfortable. We're tied up all even. But that start again, Josh, like, look at this. Got your That's so unfortunate. I mean, the timing was just off a tiny bit. If Artis was able to get a flash like a fraction of a second earlier, if the, uh, if the showstopper came out, half. A fraction of a second earlier, or it, I mean, that was a sick shot, too. So, what can you do about yeah. it? <laughs> They're stressed in the seats, yeah. Just you know, plan as usual, boys. All going well, fully <laughs> intended. Okay, shades of a similar look towards B main. That seems like a high priority play, so they want to be trying to get. And look at the intent behind this, sending the old down. Actually, his boot's still good for one. Gonna find Artis. Trades there for Angel, but this map gets divided in a very unique way. Mid control gained, B main control gained, but then on the trade off of Heretics, have access towards A. Yeah, there's still a player here in the form of Sugetsu, but if, if they can at least secure this cross, they should be. I don't want to say comfortable, but it's very, very doable to get a safe plant here. But all this time being purchased is allowed for this rotation now. Oh, Benji. <laughs> oh, yeah, just a criminal with it. And again, this is the map. I think against Paper X, the Benji Fishy, for the first time, truly stood out to me. I think they still lost the series anyway, but still. Yeah. That guy was filthily good at this. But with three players for Na'Vi, they've got to take down four on the other side. These post plants are difficult. Look how far back Boo even is. And that's just a time purchase right here. And that's enough. It's worth it. Yeah, they, they've... they've you know, cut their losses, call their quits on that. It's time to go save. Keep these three rifles. Hey, give them 10 rounds. That's fine. We'll take it from there. Ten's all they get. But Heretics walk away with four alive. I mean, yeah, the Bulldog's still in play, but still, this has been a very valuable round for them after a highly volatile start with all that B main control, the pressure in middle.
I think Benji had 21 kills in that split game against PRX, and I think he surpassed that. He's about 22 or 23 at the moment. Yeah. So even surpassing expectations, 24 Not even. bad. Not bad going. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, no, it's, he's doing a really good job. It's Fortnite like kids, man. Because <laughs> a lot of these yeah. kills are, are high impact, right? They it's are. disrupting the retakes. It's winning in a clutch situation. It's yeah. finding an opening so that he can call an audible and has have his team come back to the, his site. But I, I really like it. We're seeing kind of like a deja vu from the last game and with Team Heretics, how they're doing like these fast splits and... Yep. Here we go. Zero gets so damn close. Na'Vi going for a heavier stack towards the A site, leaving just Chow pretty much to be in, I mean, near on middle as well. Yeah, he's got a little bit of help from Sugetsu, but Shadows. he's over towards the vent side. So if Chow goes down, yeah, floodgates are open. How much damage can one man do? Nothing. Minibu sweeps past him in a heartbeat. The site's theirs. Yeah, there's going to be pressure from heaven now, but by this point, you can start looking at securing the site itself. This is very early work. One minute and ten still on the board. Going to be denied at least the plant for the first attempt. But there'll be more than that coming their way. And here he is. Man himself. Alt upon alt. I secured the site, secured the plant. Na'Vi working with sheriffs. They do have the two rifles, one with Zipan and one with Sugetsu. And wait on that late lurk. He waits all day for this. I mean, Boo's just dodging bullets. None actually coming that close. He's gone away with pretty much holding this line here. Does get overwhelmed by Zipan, who's got the follow-up too. This is now getting a little bit dangerous. Then you can now see Benji Fishy getting involved here. Vu is holding the back line well, keeping that all in play. Vu getting a little bit more curious, and here he comes. Finally makes his appearance out of the shadows, basically, with 11 rounds now for Heretics. Na'Vi going to start feeling the strain here. This is getting really dangerous. This is turning points. I like how Team Heretics is conditioning Na'Vi so hard right now, but I'm also not impressed at all by Na'Vi's utility usage. There are so many abilities being used from B-Heaven before yeah. they're ready to go for the retake. We're seeing paint shells coming in One to stall the prayer in a few seconds, or stun coming a few seconds after that, a nightfall coming a few seconds after that. With Heretics, as it stands, they are up 11 to 9. Here. And this is uh, getting to crunch time now for Na'Vi. Have they found a solution? Do they have something in mind? If it keeps going this way, Heretics are winning a 2-0. Oh, right off the rip. Look at Mini Boo here, straight up the guts. This is this is scary. See, if, even if he just holds his position for a second, they're gonna try and dig him out of it, but this position alone is is a thorn in their side. Oh, they don't do they know? I, I feel like Zipan's aware. He oh no, know. he's no idea. <gasps> he had no idea! Completely sideswiped by this, and now they're on an island, these two players on this B site. No support coming for a second now. Has to be a bailout from Angel. There's not enough really. He needed more than one. And now Shaun Sugetsu, what do you do here? You got 2.5, 8k, uh, 800 behind you. They have very little money to work with, but they've got to go for something. Maybe that lost bonus kicking in <laughs> at some point, but Sugetsu and Shao. Got to make mountains out of this. Oh no, uh, Team Paranoia. Rough. Okay, first step, Miniboo goes down. It's a start. Need some more. Looking at these post plants as well, difficult. We still got Boo sat just below them, so if they do try and cross towards the site, there is going to be that threat there. Benji on the back of the side. Boo gives away the game a little here, but it's re ends on the swing. Using that contact on Boo as the swing point, and it works. That's 12 now. If there was going to be a round, it had to almost be the one just gone for Na'Vi. Because now they're going to be skint. They don't have all to depend on. They don't have all of this buffer. And Mini Boo just out of nowhere, flying right up middle, getting behind them. That is going to be devastating for Na'Vi. The only thing that Na'Vi has right now really that they can rely on is a Viper's Pit, but Team Heretics, with either the mid conditioning where they think that they're going there, or actually going there through mid, I think Na'Vi has to block that. They need to use that breach stun on it, they need to do something to stop it, because they can't let Team Heretics have full reign over mid. Yeah, they gotta stop the rot right now, because this is getting down to the dangerous point in the game. Angel, trying to dissuade them from coming towards B main, but they are on the other side of this. I don't know if he's gonna get contact on the Prowler. No. Well, that late presence through sewer by Benji. It looks like they're trying to clear through on ramp for Na'Vi. It's starting to take a little bit of a glance. I don't know how deep they're going to try and go off this, or it even really matters as already Heretic's starting to progress towards this B site. Four players here. Prowler invested Angel. 
caught again. Punished in these no man land positions. An effective trade comes out, but Benji officially finally shows his hand. Look at this. His presence is a problem. He's a nuisance in the back line. They can't feel secure, so they try and play ahead. They try and be proactive in this. Maybe the right call, maybe not, but Arnis is going in. He wants in. He's desperately trying. He's going to only get them one. It's down to Shao and Sugetsu. Otherwise, this is wraps. I can't believe we got here, and that spike's not even down yet. It's still sat in towards main. Trying to isolate Minibu here with eight bullets to play with, but he's now got his boys by his side. Playing through by main, Sugetsu takes a step too far, and Shao left in a 1v3 heretics. Going against the odds in map two here. Stunning quite a few 